What is up, beautiful people? My name is Kayvon. Welcome to the Esoteric Coaching Channel. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the power of prayer, specifically praying for your enemies and people who have wronged you. So you ready? Let's go. Welcome back to the channel. First thing first, if you like the title of this video, if you like the subject, give it a like. It helps the channel tremendously. And without further ado, let's jump into the topic. So today we're going to be talking about the power of prayer, specifically for enemies and people who may have wronged you, people may you not, may not like right now. Maybe it's an ex, a significant other that you get in divorce with, anything like that. So. First things first, in order to talk about this subject, we need to have a basic understanding of something called the law of attraction. Now that is a universal law that states like energy attracts like energy. So for example, if you have a positive thought, that positive thought is gonna attract more positive thoughts into your mind. Negative thought is gonna attract more negative thoughts into your mind, and you can use that for a lot of other things. So if you get healthier, you're gonna attract more healthy situations. If you're unhealthy, you attract more unhealthy situations, and that's just a basic overview. So now that we got that out of the way, let's go into the power of prayer. So a lot of times in life, we have enemies that we make. The people that have wronged us, maybe people have done things negative to us, maybe we've created the, the animosity between us, but still there's negative energy there. And usually what happens is we have negative thoughts about that person. We go, man, I hate that person, that person wronged me, hope he gets hit by a bus, or you know, something, anything crazy like that. And a lot of us don't realize that those thoughts that we're having don't actually reach the other person. The only person that experiences those thoughts is ourselves. So we're actually harming ourselves when we have those thoughts. So, because the other person doesn't know that you're thinking these things about them. They're going about their life doing their own thing and there you are sitting in your room having these negative thoughts go around your head and it's the law of attraction. Those negative thoughts are gonna bring more negative situations in your life. If you're stressing out about it, you're just gonna attract more stress into your life. So what can we do about it? And here's where prayer comes into play. Now when I say prayer, I don't mean kneeling down with your eyes closed head against there. It doesn't have to be that traditional form of prayer. It's more about just the words you say about people. So I'm going to give you guys an example of how I use the power of prayer to get over an ex-girlfriend of mine. So I broke up with my ex-girlfriend and I was, you know, a little bit depressed, a little bit angry about the situation. There was a lot of stress, a lot of tension, and I was trying to get over it and I, you know, I was thinking these negative thoughts and it wasn't helping me. It was just making things worse. So what I did was in the shower, you know, because I you shower pretty much every day. So I'm like, in the shower, I'm going to pray for every single day until these thoughts go away. So what I would do is I'd go in the shower and I would just make basic prayers. I would say, hey, I, know, I hope she's doing well. I hope she's finding the relationship that she wanted. I hope that she's healthy. I hope that she's prosperous. I hope that she's successful. And at first, these thoughts were really hard to say because on a deep level, I didn't want them to be true. I, you know, I was still angry, I was still stressed out, but the more I did it and the more I committed myself to it, the better I felt, the more relief I felt from the situation. And eventually I got over it a lot faster than I expected. I was, you know, two weeks time, I was completely over it, not a thought on my mind anymore because I've attracted more positive energy into my life. So it's very simple and easy to do. All you need to do is find a situation where maybe you're stressed out about it, maybe you're tense about it, and think positive thoughts for that person. It's gonna do two things. One, the more you do it, the more relief you're gonna feel, the less stress you're gonna feel you're gonna feel great it's gonna be like something's been lifted off your shoulders you're gonna feel free secondly the law of attraction is gonna come into play and since you're having positive thoughts for someone else that positive energy is just gonna come back to you giving and receiving are two sides of the same coin so when you give positive thoughts out you're gonna receive positive thoughts back. So it's a great thing to do to help you feel relief and also attract better things into your life. It's also gonna help you get over the situation a lot quicker and attract better people in your life and maybe even uh, uh, alleviate the situation completely. Maybe you and your friend got in a fight and you guys aren't talking right now, but you pray for them, you pray for them, you feel better and next time you talk, you see that the tension is not really there anymore and you guys are in a better space. And especially if you're in a better space, emotionally, physically, energetically, the key word is energetically in your better space, 
the other person is going to be affected by that. It's called entrainment. When you're in a higher state and someone's in a lower state, only one or two of things can happen. Either you're going to lower down to their state or they're going to raise up to your state. And since you're in a higher energetic vibration frequency, you're probably going to have them up their level a little bit and, and pretty much improve the relationship. So that's the basic of it. Just take the time, one to two minutes every day and say basic things. It could be, I hope they're healthy and happy. I hope they're prosperous. I hope they're successful. I hope they're having a great life. I hope they're not dealing with traffic today. I hope there's their family relationships are improving. It's something very simple as that, but it has a, such a profound effect in your entire life. So if you like this video, make sure to give it a like. Leave me a comment and tell me what you think about this. If you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing. I make content about social dynamics, self-improvement, fitness, and a lot of other things. I'm actually a life coach, so if you're interested in free one-on-one -on -one training, free coaching, click the link in my description. It'll take you to my website and we'll set up an appointment and we can talk and get to know each other. So thanks for watching this video. My name is Kayvon. I'm out. Peace.